Okay, now we're gonna show you how to do a first CMC joint injection, so the base of the thumb joint. Normally you would do this because of osteoarthritis, um, and it is, a normally, it is normally quite an effective uh, injection. I think the setup's really important to get right for this and does make the injection itself a lot easier. First of all, I would suggest that you get the setup of the room correct. So I'm sitting on a stool, patient is supine with the arm down by the side, and you can see that I'm gonna be facing the ultrasound machines, uh, the machine. So which, what that means is that when I'm holding the probe and I'm trying to uh, line up uh, the middle of the needle with the middle of the probe, I can see the image in front of me as well, and that makes things a lot, lot easier. So the first thing we need to do is just orientate ourselves to the ultrasound anatomy. Now I've got a hockey stick probe here. Uh, this is the L6 to 24 on the E10G machine, um, and it really does give a, a, a lovely, lovely picture. Now, some people do struggle uh, to find the first CMC joint. A few different ways of doing it. The way I find that works for me is I just pop the probe onto the distal end of the radius. So you can see the distal end of the radius here. As you slide down into the hand, you should then see the radial artery, okay, which you can see there. And obviously you've got your veins um, either side of that, which you can compress. And I always think it looks like a koala bear winking at you. So you can find that. And then as you slide further down, what you should find is a joint. And that's what we can see here. Now, we need to bring a needle from this side of the probe. So we need to make sure that this part of the bone doesn't get in the way. So if we bring it to one side, you can see here, this is the base of the first CMC, and I call this the sort of Cliffs of Dover, the White Cliffs of Dover which if you're not from the UK won't make much sense, but uh, maybe we'll put a picture up for you so you do have a look at them. They really are quite beautiful. Anyway, so this is the White Cliff of Dover. This is the end of the first CMC joint, and this is what you need to find. So I'm gonna go through that once more. Find the end of the radius, slide down until you see the radial artery and the koala bear winking at you. Go a little bit further and you'll find the joint. Now, we then need to find the White Cliffs of Dover, which is the base of the first, and if I just come around the back of the joint, that comes up. So this makes a really nice target for our injection. It's important that you don't go too far round so the radial artery comes on top of the joint, which you can see that. So don't go too much onto the dorsal aspect. Stay round here. So what we're gonna use, you can use an orange needle for this, and we're gonna aim the injection into here. Now normally there is some osteophytes which can make it a bit tricky, so sometimes you do need to work around the joint to find a nice opening. And we're just gonna aim the needle to here, um, and often there's a bit of fluid that you can aim for. So we can use an orange needle for this, and what you're gonna do, if we just wipe away, obviously you're gonna use sterile gel if you're actually doing the injection, and then we're just gonna aim into the middle of the probe, okay? And we're gonna go in probably at about 30 degrees. So that'll be about a 30 degree angle, and I wanna end up on, on this region here, or just underneath the capsule. So let's just do this. So you're just gonna start nice and close to the probe, and in at about 30 degrees.